Welcome back to this week's The Movement. I got some fire for you guys. Just in case you forgot, King Verky is the king of parkour. Although his journey was ended prematurely, Verky said, okay, rested up, and then came out with Verky 2022. He's got a lifetime membership to the Rudy Club and the Kong Gainer Club. Man, pick one and save some for the rest of us. It is high energy, high intensity. I feel like I'm watching somebody get beat up, but it's Verky beating up the concrete. My amygdala is engaged he literally kongs the tampa stride i'm not talking about a dive kong that happened 10 something years ago he's got some meaty cork prees there sorry cork boy you've been dethroned by the king guy remember cork boy he's still around i think after that fail i can't be so sure he's got party clips in there to let you know he's human you got glue on your shoes because you're making rails look like whales i like that one because because they're wide you're making the rails look why i watched like a 21 minute video on why verky's so good by this physiologist guy theo tanchak to sum it up posture i guess moving on to g fam where memories are made the german family relax kanye not that one they've come out with <laughs> with a beautiful beautiful edit the video kicks off with about three minutes of dope travel vibes it's like nothing really stuck out to me but where this edit really hooked me was about five minutes in the pharrell kicks in and the dude does a fucking tumble off of a bird scooter down a staircase that's where i went oh, oh, oh yeah dude that's when the heavy shit hits dude with the dreads hits like three side rolls in a row and makes it work they've all got great hair and strong jaw lines and then there's a section in the video where it says break dance time and no one starts dancing they're the first parkour team to throw their own rap show. They got the banner in the back. Dudes are rapping about rail precisions in German. Jimmy the Giant, where you at? Probably making videos about what sport died from what. The value of that first part, even though it was a little bit of a slog just for me, it's not my memories, but makes the young kids jealous. Maybe get some traveling and training. Make sure to cop that dope ass beanie that all of them seem to be wearing. They made it. It's up on their store, gfam.com. Is it? gfam.net moving right along to parkour's one and only goth squad pariah parkour based out of brighton j batrix project they have come out with a edgy black and white contrasty part the video is called finding mulch Fli flinging muck muck F flinging muck there's two athletes, Joel Loosecomb and Yannick Sawicki, the dude who hit the suicide wall run into the shopping cart. Not only does he have 500 new friends, he's also got the fucking moves. Both these homies got side priests to rail and booties of steel. They do them both ways. They're getting perpendicular. They can, they'll do it all directions. No wonder they're rolling around in triple XLs. They need space for those massive balls. Homies, when the tendonitis kicks in sometime next year, you guys can go straight into a pole dancing career with the amount of times you biff it into poles. It's law of attraction. Listen to the universe. Then there's a nightmare part. What does that mean? Oh, nighttime. <laughs> And then there's a nighttime part. I love a good British night part. Just careful if you're hitting the devil drops. Shout out to the C&J series. In my opinion, the best parkour series of all time and not because I also was a part of one of the videos. But watch that too. There's some real creative shit in this too. There's like a touch pistol croc full. Maybe it's a 270. That side flip pre to rail at night might be the sketchiest thing I have ever seen in a nighttime part. It 2022 we're still running out of frame but not if there's a gate in the way in that case i don't know what to do hmm. guys maybe pick up ninja warrior if you want to climb things i guess the filmmaking really stands out the editing choice the graphics it all really ties together into a gritty new age looking parkour edit congratulations on a real nice part guys Drew Taylor's personal project, Public, has come out with the secret video with Untitled 01. Who is right? I genuinely don't know the dude's name. I'm not even sure if it's Drew Taylor's brand. Sorry to blow up your spot. The video is up on the public website. If you don't want people to see it, I'll take down this video. It's cool. You know shit's about to get experimental when you see the spinning 3D logo. About 15 chair clips in, I was like, damn, is this eight minutes of chair? Bob, don't get jealous. You had your time. But then it picks up this video is distorted confusing experimental and it's all intentional it's an art project alfred scott might not like it but the beans fucking came when they saw it they probably came lumpy black beans that's i'm probably gonna cut that <laughs> i think you should keep it in and the part where you said you were gonna cut it
Congrats, guys. You've effectively manufactured parkour MDMA in video form. I'm ready to... <laughs> Who wants to touch bodies? Ah. <laughs> Oh, Mikesh's boys got a new video coming out. Formerly known as Stunts, Mikesh's Czech Republic homies have rebranded from Stunts to Avanti Garda. It's a good thing you guys renamed from Stunts because Googling parkour stunts nine to five just comes up with Jesse LaFlair's guide on how to be a stunt man. Josh Malone's in it and that is reason enough for you to tune in. Honestly, I haven't had a trailer for a free running edit make me this excited in a very long time. I can count on two fingers the videos that have done that. Roof Cult and Storm America. And now these guys, congratulations. These guys got the new style. They're grabbing their feet while they spin and they're from Europe. So you know they're doing it Tastefully. The video comes out the day that I'm recording this, so you guys just tune in and have your own opinions for once. Bail of the week, we have a lashay to the back of this dude's head. I, I don't have anything prepared for this. And looks like neither did he. Not to burst your bubble, dude, but Daniel Arroyo hit this first. Those bails are particularly harmful. I know Corbin Reinhardt from Tempest did a bail like that, and he couldn't talk for like a year or something. Also, new information. <laughs> SPL2 has been announced. The event that everyone keeps calling NAPC. It's called SPL now, guys. This is parkour's most grassroots, longest standing parkour competition. If you are from a long ways away and complained last year you didn't have enough notice to register and get your travel tickets going, you've been warned. England-based parkour brand Infrastructure, my favorite underdog in the parkour clothing game, has come out with a new drop. It's all squares and it's all sick. These guys, <laughs> I guess it's just one guy. He's been coming out with some really dope original parkour clothing pieces and you guys have not been giving him enough love. So you guys can use the discount code DOWIE10 for 10% off. Just in case you've forgotten you're having a great day. Don't mean to poopo on your parade, but the Modus Projects is closing down. I watched Giles' sad video and apparently it's for the best. Giles has been serving the parkour community for over, I guess, 20 years. I cried fucking buckets when Life is Fun 2 came out. Life is funner, but also sadder in the second one. This just goes to show that these parkour brands are not the titan enterprises that you see in other sports, although some of you bullied them as if they were. I know who you are. I know you're watching. I don't appreciate any kind of bullying in the sport unless it's to Adam Dunlap back in 2017, in which case he can go cry on his supermodel girlfriend's boobies. That'll be awkward. I know Adam tunes in. Thank you once again for your service, Giles. We are looking forward to seeing what you have coming out next. This has been this week's The Movement, episode four. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Your shares, likes, and comments are greatly appreciated. Merry Christmas. If that's a scary phrase for you, happy holidays, I guess. And the Hanukkahs and, the, and all of the things. Happy festive time. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Josh Doey, and that's Jovi. Tune in again.